subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates. Made in India, Donish, India's first indigenous long-range artillery gun, clears final test, ready for induction. India's first indigenous, long-range artillery gun Donish has passed its final test at Pakran, paving the way for its induction into the army, a senior official said today. Between June 2nd to 6th, 50 rounds of shells each were fired from six Donish guns, Gun Carriage Factory, GCF, Senior General Manager S.K. Singh told reporters here today. Donish is a 155mm x 45mm caliber artillery gun and is also called the Desi Force. Six guns in battery formation, at one go and at one target, successfully fired 101 rounds on June 7, Singh informed. He said that the GCF got the Donish project in October 2011 and the first prototype was made in 2014. Later, 11 more prototypes were made from which 4,200 rounds were fired. The gun has passed tests under severe cold conditions in Sikkim and Leh and in hot and humid weather in Balasore, Odisha, Babana in Jhansi and in the desert of Pakran in Rajasthan, Singh said. He said that during the trial in Pakran a year ago, the muzzle and barrel of the howitzer exploded two times. A probe by different Ministry of Defense departments into the two incidents, however, did not find any fault with the gun, Singh said, adding that Donish is among the finest artillery guns in terms of accuracy. It has a strike range of 38 km and 81 percent of its components are indigenously sourced, the official said. This, he said, would be scaled up to 90 percent by 2019. Singh said that 12 guns would be supplied to the army in the current fiscal while the total number for the initial phase is 114 guns. He said that, under an agreement to be inked soon, a total of 414 Donish guns would be supplied to the army. Manufactured by the Jabalpur-based gun carriage factory, GCF, each of the 155mm gun costs about Rs 14.50 crore while each shell costs Rs 1 lakh a former top official of the factory said. Besides features like electronic gun laying and sighting systems, the indigenous gun's hitting range was 11 km more than the imported Bofors guns, he added. The Donish project has received support and active cooperation from other ordnance factories and PSUs such as Sale, Bell and many private sector companies. Their support has made the project a huge success, he said. The gun has been developed by the Ordnance Factory Board, OFB, Kolkata, after going through design documents running into over 12,000 pages. These documents were given to India as part of the first phase of transfer of technology, TOT, under the Bofors gun deal inked in the late 1980s, he added. The Swedish Bofors company, now owned by Britain's B system, could not complete the TOT for the 155mm x 39mm caliber howitzer as the deal got embroiled in a major political row over alleged kickbacks. Subsequently, the OFB struggled for long to produce the howitzer indigenously, he said. This was despite the fact that it had manufactured and supplied several components and spares to keep the Bofors howitzers operational in India, especially during the Kargil War. The army had been desperately looking for 155mm howitzers for more than three decades. It had roped in an Israeli company, Soltam, to upgrade the imported, Russian-made 130mm gun to 155mm at GCF. But the project, after the upgraded gun's trial, ran into issues of alleged kickbacks, the former official claimed. Six years ago, the Defence Acquisition Council had decided to look for artillery guns within the country and asked OFB to start manufacturing howitzers. Towards that end, 
former Defense Minister A.K. Antony inaugurated a 155mm gun manufacturing facility at GCF on September 22, 2012. According to defense experts, the Army needs a huge number of howitzers of different types, and Indian firms, some in partnership with foreign manufacturers, are in the race to fulfill the demand. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.